launching the fir their first driverless car service in Arizona. It's on the road. It's a taxi. Hmm. Our next guest is the vice president of strategy and policy at Cognata. Now, that is a company which helps self-driving car companies test their technology. Heike, Heike, Heike Lane, correct pronunciation? Yes. Heike Lane is with us from Cognata, correct. Okay. How far away? I mean, you've got to convince people. If you're helping car companies get into the self-driving car business, you've got to convince people like me that it's safe to get into one of these things, to trust it. How far away are we from that? Safety is an ongoing process. There, there's no end to safety. What we do at Cognata is provide the ability to test these cars in virtual worlds, in simulation. So we build a 3D realistic world. We fill it with traffic, with people, with weather, exactly the kinds of things that cars are going to have to face once they're in the real world. And we measure that safety before those cars are there. And you work with Audi, I think. Is it Audi or who? Yes, we work with AID. This is the autonomous subsidiary of Audi. So you construct a car, a self-driving car, and it's kind of a test car in some kind of laboratory and you see how it responds to weather conditions and other cars on the road, that kind of thing. Better yet, we deliver a software solution where our customers, the makers of the self-driving cars, can test their software before they even start needing to build the car itself. So they can put their software into our system and test it across all of these environments early on. Okay, okay, so it's a software package, that's what you produce, and you sell it to a car company, they put it into their cars, and bingo, you've got yourself a self-driving car. That's it? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm trying to simplify. Yeah, they, they, so we, we're involved with the, with the car makers at a very early stage so that they can take their software, put it into a virtual world, and test it against everything that they might have to encounter before they're on the roads with you and I. Can you make me feel secure that a couple of years down the road, I'm in a self-driving car. There's nobody behind the wheel. I'm in the passenger seat. We're going down the highway. I'm surrounded by whopping great big trucks and uh, with a driver and other cars with a driver. Are you going to make me feel comfortable? you think I will be comfortable in that environment? This is exactly the value of simulation. By being able to test these cars virtually before they're on the road, we can measure how safe the cars are, how well they're performing, and most importantly, how much that safety is improving over time, test after test after test. And we can do this at enormous scale. So in simulation, there's no reason that a car can't drive millions of miles, gain that experience overnight in the cloud. Yeah, that's pretty good. How long before we're all sitting in self-driving cars? This rollout will continue to be gradual. I mean, as you mentioned, we're seeing some of these cars in limited situations today. The rollout will continue. It's, it will take time, and the challenges will increase, or rather the, uh, the capabilities will increase, but I think we'll see a lot of progress in the next five years. Is Waymo way out front? Waymo is pretty well out front, and part of what has enabled them to get there is their extensive use of simulation. They've been very public about the fact that they drive millions of miles a day in simulation. So you essentially are the simulator guy. We are the simulator guy. Okay, Cognata. Heike, thanks very much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much.